Transport authorities may have found ways to boost the PUV modernization program while easing resistance from drivers and operators of traditional jeepneys. Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board Chairman Teofilo Guadis III has approved a locally manufactured passenger jeepney prototype for inclusion in the PUV modernization program. The prototype resembles the iconic jeepney churned out by local manufacturers like Sarao Motors, but with a higher ceiling to allow passengers to stand inside the vehicle, handrails, built-in security cameras, and an environment-friendly Euro 5 engine. It also features a main door at the right side and an exit door at the back. Following an inspection, Guadi said the prototype conforms to the Philippine national standards for modern PAVs while preserving the iconic jeepney design and is acceptable for the modernization program. The prototype was first rolled out in 2019 but was said to have been ignored by the previous administration. Ed Sarao, production and plant supervisor of Sarao Motors, local manufacturer of traditional jeepneys, estimated that it would cost around 1.5 million to 2 million pesos to produce the prototype. At the same time, the Department of Transportation is looking at increasing the subsidy for participants in the PAV modernization program from 160 60,000 pesos to 250,000 pesos per unit. The LTFRB is on to a good thing by supporting and encouraging local makers of jeepneys to provide affordable modern jeepneys to drivers and operators.